Hello students, in this video we are going to solve the exercise of lesson number 4 that is climatic regions for 11 standard students of science as well as arts for geography subject. The first part of this exercise is already completed and the video is already uploaded on my channel. You can watch it. We are going to continue from question number 4 that is differentiate between. So the first differentiate between is rainforest and savanna type of climatic region. Now basically rainforest uh, is such a type of climatic region which is very close to the equator. So basically it is found near the equator that is from 0 degrees to 10 degrees latitudinal extent from both the hemisphere north as well as south hemisphere. After that the next latitudinal extent which comes that is the savanna type of climatic region which lies from 10 degrees to 20 degrees latitudinal in both the hemisphere that is south as well as north. Now the places which uh, which comes under the rainforest climatic regions are Amazon Basin, Congo Basin, East Coast of Central America, Magadstar, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines and the places which comes under the savanna climatic regions are the rain shadow zone like Maharashtra, Telangana, Karnatak, Mizoram. So these are all the borders which are around the Congo, South Central Africa. So all these places also belongs to the savanna type of climatic region. So the temperature in the case of rainforest is always high temperature as it is very close to equator. And the average temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. Whereas in the case of savanna, the temperature is around 35 degrees Celsius in summer and 24 degrees Celsius in winter. Here we have conventional type of rainfall too in the case of rainforest region. So the rainfall is near about 2500 to 3000 millimeter which is distributed throughout the year. And here in the case of savanna region, the annual rainfall is between 250 to 1000 mm. Now let us move uh, ahead with the next difference that is taiga and tundra region. Basically taiga is found only in the northern hemisphere. Okay, It is just found only in the northern hemisphere which lies between 55 degrees to 65 degrees latitude. Whereas the tundra region is again seen only in the northern hemisphere where it lies between 65 degrees to 90 degrees latitude. In the case of taiga, this region covers northern North America, Newfoundland to Alaska, northern Eurasia through Siberia, Bering Sea and Sea of Okhotsk. And in the case of tundra region, it spreads from Arctic Ocean, borderlands of North America, Greenland and Eurasia, Antarctic Peninsula and some polar islands. In the case of taiga, the summer temperature is about 15 degrees to 20 degrees. So it is very low even in the case of summer. But in the case of winter, the temperature is below 0 degree. Means it is total in minus. The temperature in summer in the case of tundra is 10 degrees Celsius. And in the case of winter, it is minus 20 degree to minus 30 degree Celsius. Okay. So the tundra is extremely hot area as compared to taiga. This region receives the precipitation around 300 to 500 mm in summers in the form of snowfall in winter. Whereas in the case of tundra, the precipitation is 300 to 500 mm in the form of snow only. Next is monsoon and Mediterranean region. Now the monsoon lies between 55 to 65 degrees latitudes only in the case of northern hemisphere. Whereas in the case of Mediterranean region it falls between 30 degrees to 40 degrees at the western coastal locations. Monsoon region spreads along northern North America as well as Alaska whereas Mediterranean region spreads along central California borders of Mediterranean Sea, Cape Town, 
southern and southwest australia in the case of summer the temperature is 27 degrees to 37 degrees and in the case of winter the temperature is 15 to 24 degrees celsius in the case of mediterranean region the summer temperature is 21 to 27 and the winter temperature is around 10 to 14 In the case of monsoon region the precipitation is around 250 mm to 2500 mm and in the case of mediterranean region the precipitation is around 500 mm next question is question 5 answer in detail the first question is explain with example the effect of latitude on a places climate there are so many things which affect the latitudinal things of the place of a climatic region so the first is the perpendicular and oblique sun rays now if the sun rays are perpendicular to some specific area to some specific place then definitely that place will be more hot or the temperature over there will be very very high so that such places are called as equator because over there the sun rays are totally perpendicular and it becomes more oblique in the case of north and south as we move towards poles next is arrival of parallel sun rays on the earth's curved surface so the sun is average 10 million kilometers far from the earth and the diameter of the sun is 109 times the diameter of the earth so the sun rays they always come parallel to each other so because of this parallel rays the thickness are less skewed in the equatorial region whereas on the north and south side of the equator the rays are more inclined they do not uh, they are not observed perpendicular so because of that the oblique rays are moving towards the polar areas next is land area the sun rays that reach the equator covers less area span than the north or south of the equator some local winds also affect the weather the fawn and chinook winds which flow from the alps and the rocky mountains to the pacific raise the temperature of that region so this is about the winds this is about the uh in isolation of the sun oblique rays perpendicular rays so all these things are affecting the climate and the latitudinal extension of a specific place let us move further with next question is question 2 explain with example how winds affect the climate of a place now in some regions for a significant time a kind of wind flows and it affects the climate for of that region if such winds come from a colder region then definitely the temperature is going to decrease and if the temp uh, winds are coming from some hotter region then definitely the temperature is going to rise so in winters the wind come from the continental bodies and they gradually decrease the temperature while the sea wind increases it on the contrary in summer the winds on the ground increases the temperature while the sea winds reduces them so uh, this type of things are basically observed in the central part of asia where the temperature gets lower down because of winter and the temperature are very low in the case of manchuria mongolia and north china due to cold winds blowing from here next is russia is larger than chile in areas but does not experience climatic diversity as chile explain now basically russia is larger than chile and there is no climatic variations in russia why because first is hemisphere russia is located to the east of the northern hemisphere while chile is located at the southern hemisphere so these northern and southern hemisphere they influence the climate of this country so compared to russia the climate of chile is varied and next is climatic region compared to russia the chile is located into two climatic region while southern climatic southern chile is divided into mediterranean climatic region 
Next is explain the factors affecting the climate of a place, giving an example. Now, uh, the things that affect the climate is what is the latitudinal extension? Okay. Next, what is the proximity to the sea? And what is the height above the main sea level? So all these things are playing an important role. Rain and overcast sky. Now look at the proximity of the sea. If the place is close to the sea or some ocean or water bodies, then definitely that is going to make an impact on that specific place. The main reason for this is what land gets heated up and cools down quickly while water is slowly heated and cooled down slowly. Okay, this is only the difference. Saline winds flow from sea towards the land in the days and dry winds flow from land to the sea at nights. So because of that, the weather, it keeps on changing and it remains constant at the maximum and minimum temperatures which do not vary. Next is latitudinal. The higher the latitudinal place, the cooler the weather is. When you move towards some mountain, then definitely the temperature is very very high in those places. So if the sky is covered, the heat of the sun is hindered from reaching the ground. So basically, in the areas where the temperature is low, the sky is covered and because of that, the sun rays are obstructed by the clouds and they cannot reach towards the ground. So because of that, the ground does not heat up quickly during the day as well as the heat dispersed by the cloud at night and does not cool down. So because of that, if the sky is clear, the heat is absorbed and it is emitted from the ground. And this increases the temperature in day and the temperature decreases at night. So because of this, the weather in such areas is totally asymmetric. Then next is forest. Now if the land is covered by very dense forest or trees, then definitely the uh, weather at such places will be pleasant or it will have a mild type of weather. So you can see that the amount of vapor in the air is also high which results into rain and the weather is mild. Next is land type. There are different types of soil. Their heat retention also varies. The heat capacity of the sand mixed soil is high and therefore the temperature of the desert region also increases. The temperature of the river valley of the muddy land does not rise very much. So this is about the question that is the factors affecting the climate of a given place. So this is all about the exercise of lesson number 4 that is climatic region. Thank you.